I would like to thank the speaker for his speech and call upon the second speaker from Durham B to continue the case. And if, like, if they showed a way in which we could take it case by case, 
so that only wronged women are given money, we may have bought it a little bit more. But not all women are wrong. Like, was Thatcher wrong when she was made Prime Minister? Should she also be made Queen or something? We don't get it. Also, it's not only women who are wronged by sexism. Nannies, like, when a male nanny is not hired by a family because they have traditional views and a, a less qualified woman gets the job, is he not wronged? There's unfairness everywhere. There's no universal rule bit on how to be unfair. So that's why we use the court to see the specifics of the case. And it is offensive to suggest that all women are the victims. It is also misleading of the actual problem. Yes, Harish. I think the main problem in the sexism problem is sexist people. I don't even understand that problem. They might have other problems in their life as well, but we're talking about the problem of sexism here. Right, so we think it's, un it's unfair on men who are not sexist themselves. Ben loves feminism, he's not a sexist. Why should he have to pay for the wrongs other people are doing? Now, many groups feel oppressed. No, thank you, as Tom told you. Now, um, whether they actually are oppressed or actually do or deserve money doesn't matter. Any uh, perceived oppressed group who feels oppressed and doesn't get the reparations will feel even further oppressed because now they see a, an idea that the state feels it is right for it to pay such groups for the, for the oppression they receive in society. So, they either have to give this money to every minority who feels oppressed who will ask for it, or have to, which will in turn mean some crazy cancelling out scenario, or allow the perceived oppression and therefore the anti-statism in these particular groups to, to continue. Now my final point, why is this different, why is this better than the status quo? This is also something they haven't proved, because they never explained why our current system of courts aren't the best way to be doing something and they aren't good enough, and why feminists shouldn't be using them to harm the wrong, even if the wrong is just financial. We say courts are actually a better way of doing this, because for two reasons. One, not all tax money um, is, is um, taken to repair this wrong, but the money of the parties who are blamed, the money of the specific parties who are responsible. Because it's like when you are burgled and stolen from, the state doesn't pay you back uh, for it because it is not responsible. Rather, it invests its money in trying to prevent the crime in the first place. We don't see it as the state's role to repair you for the wrongs of other individuals. Secondly, it causes the man himself to appear and answer for himself. And that in itself gathers media attention and gives the real visual image of the man responsible having to right the wrong to the harmed party. We've talked and heard a lot about feminist rhetoric. We think under their model, courts will be used less often because more women will feel content, and this vital tool of feminist rhetoric will not be available anymore. So, because state aid will actually subjugate women in their public perception further, because it is arbitrary, because we're misplacing the blame and it's not better than the status quo, we beg you to oppose.